fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. I think you're going. Heading south for Mexican Bowl, my boy. Mexican Bowl, lovely town, yes. Bringing relief to the suffering natives. Have you got a license to sell in Mexican Bowl? A license to sell? Uh, why, no, friend. Then you're not going to Mexican Bowl now or any time. I don't follow you, sir. You heard what he said, turn this crate around and head it back north. Are you trying to tell an honest merchant where he can peddle his pharmaceutics? Why, I'll have you... You what? I'll, um, <clears throat> I'll have to think it over. Yes, uh, but... What right have you to... Turn it around, fathead. And if we catch you in Mexican bow, we'll skin you alive. <clears throat> Turn it around. Yes. Not a bad idea. Come on, girls, we're going to turn around. Get out. Sabe, look. It's going to be Boggs. Long Silver. Get him up, Scout. Clementine! Madeline! Take it easy. This ain't no Pony Express. Done it much better myself. Runaway horses, eh, Barnaby? They can be mighty dangerous. Runaway horses, nothing, my friend. I was just letting them run a grudge race to settle an old argument. You sure a horse has not been scared? Scared? Not these mighty steeds. Just a bit nervous. We had to fight our way out of a gang of homicidal Indians who tried to hold us up. Oh, where was that? Back down the road toward Mexican Bow. But they didn't get a single bottle of my Indian magic painkiller, though. Whipped them off with the ends of my bare reins. Good thing we took the shortcut, or all our plans would have been for nothing. And now we go find Red Kruger. Yeah. Uh, boys, I've changed my mind. Going to turn and head north toward Jackson Hole. But Barnaby, you agreed to help us capture Kruger. You only man who can identify him. I told you a dozen times back in Pecos what he looked like. Big fat fellow with red hair and red face. That's the reason they call him Red. Oh, you can't miss him. Too many men fit that description. A uh, killer like him must be caught. Him dangerous man. Yeah, but suppose my memory fails me. I've known it to play some mighty fancy tricks. You weren't frightened by a few Indians, were you? Of course not. I just remembered I ran out of tonic. Me see plenty bottles in wagon. Uh, yes, well, that medicine had turned stale from the heat. Barnaby, you won't have to peddle that medicine once you can identify Kruger and collect that reward. Reward? $5,000 reward. I forgot all about that. Uh, well, in that case, I'll turn around. Good. Head straight into town as we have planned. We'll meet you there later. Hello, boss. Well? Uh, you won't have no trouble from Barnaby Boggs. He took off like a scared rabbit. Good. What I can't understand is, why didn't you let us get rid of him? And have a lot of curious people around here asking questions? No, thanks. I know that, Boggs. He scares easy, but he won't admit it to anyone. <laughs> oh, I don't think he could recognize you now, boss. You've taken off weight and dyed your hair. That's because I'm taking no chances. Well, what about Jeb and me going to town for a little celebrating? Well, from what you tell me, you've done a good job. So go ahead. Have a good time. <laughs> Gee, thanks.
was developed from a magic herb known to only a few of the exalted members of the Cherokee tribe and guaranteed to cure coughs, colds, headache, neurology, rheumatism, bad hearing, pimples, and unsightly hair. Why, Mrs. C.R. of Bartlesville, Oklahoma, says it's a perfect cure for arthritis of the lower extremity. Save, save, save. Two for the price of one and at a sacrifice of only one dollar. Would you be the first to grab the offer? No crowding, no crowding, no crowding, please. The line forms on the right. Two for one dollar. So have your cash ready. Have your cash ready. Two for 50 cents. Two for 50 cents. Two for 49 cents. And that's not all. It cures bad breath, settles a nervous stomach. Uh, I know I used it once myself. Would you care to sample it, friend? I thought I told you to stay out of Mexican bow. I, I don't think I caught the name, friend. We figured you were smart enough to get the idea. Maybe we better teach him another lesson, Curly. Now, boys, boys, it's only fair for me to warn you of my pugilistic accomplishments. Knocked out Kid Murphy in the second round in Cincinnati back in 62. But now I'm a peace-loving man. I require no point. Hold on boys. Hold on a minute. Now, you boys, there's no use getting so obstreperous in this matter. Stop it. Box, when we get through with you, you won't know what time of day it is. <sighs> Dump that junk in those bottles off of No, no, I protest. Oh. Let's take this wagon apart, I... huh? You protest. No, mine. no, stop it, I tell you. That's my stock and dream. Next time we won't be so easy on him. Well, there ain't gonna be no next time. I'm gonna plug him right now. Don't be a fool. Come on, let's get our horses. Look, Tonto, Barnaby's wagon. We'll go around the back way. He's alive, Tonto. We've got to find out what happened to him. Barnaby, can you hear me? You all right? He oh. thinks him. Good idea. That should bring him to. You open mouth. No, oh, I don't want that stuff. Oh, him good stuff. Kill pain, he say. <laughs> What are you trying to do, Indian? Poison me? It's Tonto, Barnaby. You've been hurt. What happened? Well, I had a disagreement with two of the natives. Who were they? Well, I don't actually know. Huge fellows. One of them was called Curly. Have you ever seen them before? Well, yes. And, uh, do you think them same Indians you've seen on road before? Barnaby, are these men the same uh, Indians who held you up before? The very same. And if I ever get my hands on them, they'll wish they never met Barnaby Boggs. Did you tell anyone in Jackson Hole you were going to Mexican Bow? Oh, I didn't breathe a word of it to a living soul. You know, tell anyone? Well, uh, maybe there was a customer or two back in the cafe there. These men who held you up, they really told you to keep away from Mexican Bow, didn't they? Yes, but that didn't stop me. You think them Red Kruger's men? Yes, Tonto. This convinces me that Kruger is here in Mexican Bow. Well, I, I, I'm glad you found him, boys. I'll be getting along. Wait, Barnaby. Uh, wait for that wild two-gun killer? He ought to be behind bars. If you go, he never will be. Well, live and let live, I always say. You're the one man Kruger can't let live. He'll get you unless we get him first. Well, uh, boys, I've been thinking it over, and uh, I've decided to do my duty as a law-abiding citizen and... Uh, Remain here for a short time, of course. Good, Barnaby. I'll leave Tonto here for your protection. Well, where are you going? I'm going to see the sheriff. With your help and his, I hope we can clear this thing up in a hurry. Adios. Him, brave man. An intrepid fellow. A bit foolhardy, perhaps, but an intrepid fellow. Well, masked man, you've convinced me of the person I've been hearing about. Besides, any man on the trail of Red Kruger must be on the side of the law. But I don't mind telling you, if you figure that killer's in my county or loco. If he was, I'd know it, wouldn't I? Ever see him, Sheriff? Nope, can't say as I have. Ever seen his picture? Nope. Then how do you know he isn't here? <laughs> Things is too peaceful. Kruger's kind always make trouble. Can't help it. Moreover, there hasn't been any real trouble in this county since I took office. 
That speaks well for you, Sheriff. No, oh, I'm not saying there wasn't plenty of trouble in the county before I was elected. But just the same. You want to help me, and I appreciate it. Tell me, how many men in this county have bought ranches since Kruger disappeared? That is, in the last two years. Do you know? Of course I know. There are just three. Bert Phelps, John Stacy, and Rod Cole. Honest cattlemen, every one of them. Think they'd like to prove it? Prove it? How? There's a man in this town who knows Kruger by sight. If one of those men happens to be Kruger, he can identify him. I'd like you to get those men together so he can look them over. You mean bring them here into town? That's right. Well, I don't know as they'd come. If they don't, they'll be putting themselves under suspicion. Yeah, that's right. But who's this fellow knows Kruger? I'd rather not say just now for his protection. How soon can you get these men together? I haven't said I would yet. But I reckon I can. Say, noon tomorrow. Good. Noon tomorrow. My friend and I will meet you here. Fair enough. But, mister. Yes? It's like I said. I'm betting Kruger's nowhere near here. If he is, I'll eat my shirt. Better make it a no one, Sheriff. Then we've seen the last of Barnaby Boggs, have we? That's what you think, Kruger. Ace, where have you been? I've been in town, and the boys haven't gotten their story straight. Sure, they beat up on Boggs, all right, but he didn't clear out. He's still there. You mean he's staying? I'd say he didn't have any choice. The ones that did a job on him took all the wheels off his wagon. He couldn't move if he wanted to. So you fixed him up, did you? Took off his wheels. Well, it was Jeb's idea, not mine. And you were stupid enough to help him. Well, I didn't think of how I he... wanted to plug. Oh, shut up, both of you. Now get this and get it straight. Bonds is going to disappear, do you understand? How, boss? Take him down to the old mine shack and let him have it. Well, what about the wagon? What about the wagon? After you finish off Boggs, take the wagon out of town, burn it, and bury the ashes, stupid. Why all this secrecy, Kruger? As I pointed out before, I don't want a lot of people asking questions around here. Now, you two make a mistake this time. Don't bother to come back. I'll get that. You two better clear out of here. Yeah. Howdy, Mr. Phelps. Well, oh, Sheriff. Sure. Come in, come in. Thanks, just for a minute. I've uh, I still got to see Rod Cole and John Stacy. There's a fellow in town that thinks that killer Red Kruger's hanging around these parts. Of course, I know he isn't, but we got to do what we can, you know. Red Kruger? Anything I can do to help catch him, I'd be glad to. Call on me anytime, Sheriff. Well, what I'd like you to do, Mr. Phelps, is to come into town if you think you can spare the time. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm, I... Uh, I'm asking the same of Rod Cole and Stacy. Well, why us? Seems like you three are the newest arrivals around here. What do you want us to do there? Seems as if there's a fellow who knows Kruger by sight. Guess he's the only one. Yeah, men like Kruger are bad for the country. There's no doubt about that, Sheriff. I'll go along with you. That's sure fine of you, Mr. Phelps. I appreciate it. You go on and pick up Cole and Stacy, and on your way back here, I'll join you. Is that all right? Sure is, Mr. Phelps. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Glad to help you, Sheriff. You hear that, Ace? Yeah, I heard it. Jeb and Curly, come on back in here. What is it, boss? Remember I told you that Barnaby Boggs had to disappear? Sure. The mine shack. We're going to take care of it. You're going to take care of it now, Prado. Ace, you're in charge. Take Jeb and Curly with you, get Barnaby, and get them fast. I got you, Kruger. All right, boys, let's go. We got a job to do. What if one of the three men should turn out to be Kruger? You strong man, you captured him. Yeah. Well, you and me both would be a match for him. My friend, I want you to keep a sharp eye peeled and watch every move he makes. You never can tell where he'll strike next. No, Boggs, you never can tell. That's right, Indian. If you'd tried to squeeze that trigger, you'd have been dead before you heard the shot. All right, boys, take him along with us. Oh, great day in the morning. Come on, let's go. Get out. Sheriff, it's 10 minutes past noon and he still hasn't showed up. Now, Mr. Cole, just if he wants to take a look at me, he better hurry. Sheriff, I'd like to help you bring in this Red Kroger, but I have a lot of things to do. I can't hang around here all day, you know. Now, Mr. Phelps, just to... Sheriff, a mask man. Easy, gentlemen. I'll explain this mask later. Are these the three you talked about? That's right. Bert Phelps, Rod Cole, John Stacy. Howdy, gentlemen. 
Howdy. My friend has disappeared, Sheriff. What's that? Something has happened to him. He's gone. Where was he? Down the street. He set his wagon up in a vacant lot. Well, let's take a look. I'd like all of you to come along, if you don't mind. All right. Sure. Matter, Heath. I'm just trying to decide which is the safest way to go without being seen. Well, that's the shortest way to the mine shack. Yeah, I guess you're right. The mine shack? And what do you think we are? You wanted to go to Mexican Bowl, didn't you? Take it easy, mister. You're gonna stay there a long, long time. Come on, boys. There's no use claiming something must have happened to him, mister. He just lit out. Without his wagon? Well, from the looks of it, it wouldn't be much use to him. Barnaby wouldn't wreck his own wagon and run off unless he were forced to leave. Nonsense. In effect, you're saying that one of us is the killer. I can assure you I'm not. And I doubt that either Stacy or Phelps is. I was willing to help the sheriff when he asked me, but I'm not willing to waste my time. I'm going. Anytime you want me, you know where to find me. That's all right. I'm going, too. Give me evidence that something's happened to that fellow, and I'll give you all the help you need. In the meantime, like Mr. Cole says, I'm not one for wasting my time. Let's go, Sheriff. Yeah. It's up to you, gentlemen. But I'm going to stay here until I get Red Kruger. You staying? I'm on your side, mister. I think something's happened around here. We should keep on looking. Thanks. I can use the help. I know this country pretty well around here, stranger. I have an idea where your friend might be. Oh, where's that? Well, it's just a hunch, of course, but uh, no sense in passing it up. Can you take me there? Be glad to. Good. You, Boggs, get that rope. Rope's kind of weak and dusty. I said get it. All right, Indian, pull those two chairs together, back to back. Me no savvy. You'll savvy soon enough, Indian. I said chairs. Where's the black powder, Jeb? It ain't here, eh? So I left it outside. Well, don't just stand there. Go get it. Hurry up. Come on, Indian, before I plug you. Over here. I said back to back. Get that rope, Curly. All right, sit down, you two. Hurry up. Take it easy, friend. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna blast you off the face of this earth, Boggs. You make big mistake. Maybe you're right, Indian, but you and your friend made a mistake, too. Here's the black powder, Ace. Good. You make an awful mess of this shack, my friend. Shut up, Boggs. Put a one-minute fuse in that can. All right, Ace. Tie them up, Curly. You're right. They must be over there. How do you know? I see my Indian friend's horse. I think we'd better go ahead on foot. That's playing it smart, and it'll be safer. You made one mistake, Kruger. You tried too hard to be helpful. Clever trick, but it didn't work. Well, engine, looks like you're going to be very sitting up after all. Cut out the gap, Curly. Where do you want this? Put it between those two chairs and make it snappy. Can you hear it? What's that? It must be the boss. Take a look, Jeb. Can't see anything. Well, we better not take any chances. Maybe it's the boss and maybe it isn't. Get set to light that fuse and we'll get out of here. Start saying your prayers, you two. I've changed my mind. I'm going to take you first. Drop your gun. You, untie them. Tonner, we're going to have a real roundup at the sheriff's office. Uh, you came just in time, my friend. Did you spot Kruger? Yes, Barnaby. 
I left him back on the trail unconscious. Get back. Derived from a secret formula passed down from the personal physician to the Tsar of Russia. Step right up, ladies Well, stranger, you sure did what you set out to do. But I'd have never guessed that Bert Phelps was Red Kruger. It's an old saying, Sheriff. Murder will out. And that goes for the murderer, too. Yeah. Well, I'll see he gets a fair trial. But he won't surprise me if the verdict puts all four of them at the end of a rope. Them get what them deserve. You're right there, Indian. Bye, Sheriff. Hello and I have work to do. Say, your friend Barnaby, is he figuring on settling down here? He'll leave soon after we do. Good. I can't guarantee his safety the first time that salve don't work. And remember, my friend, that this marvelous salve will not only cure coughs and colds, but is good for sore throat. Hey, Barnaby. Don't bother me, son. And furthermore, if you rub it on your... I just wanted to tell you, your friends are leaving now. And I sure am grateful to them. So am I. This reward money will help me replenish my stock of medicants. Yes, there goes the finest man in the West, the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver Hoy! 